Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm on my way to Shenandoah National Park to camp one night with my dog, Ivan, who is making his first appearance on the YouTube channel. Ivan is a two and a half year old Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, whom I have had since he was a puppy. We do a lot of hiking and camping together, but like I said, this is his first time on the channel. I've had this plan now for about a month. I finished up my classes for the semester, so this is my first camping trip of the summer season, and I hope to be doing this a lot more frequently this summer. It's three o'clock right now. I still got another hour till I get to the entrance of the park, but then another maybe 20 minutes or so till I get to the campground area. I would like to do a hike that I have in mind, but I may or may not have time, so I'm gonna have to see when I get there. So I stopped at this corner store here just outside of the park and I got two New York strip steaks for Ivan and I tonight. And we are off to the park. driving this fun winding road up the mountain to the park. Okay, thank you. Thank you, how's it going? We have finally made it to the park. This entrance starts at mile 35 of the entire park. So basically this park is from mile zero all the way up to 105. So this road that I'm on now, Skyline Drive, stretches 105 miles. And along this road, you get frequent views, beautiful views. But unfortunately today, it's very cloudy, so we're not going to really get the views, unfortunately, but it's still always a great time being here. Yeah. It's actually not as cloudy as I thought. You can actually see the views pretty well. So we got about 15 miles on Skyline Drive until we get to the campground area. And thankfully the hike I want to do is within two miles of the campground too. So. So this is Jewel Hollow Overlook, probably one of the best overlooks in the park.
We have made it to the parking area for the hike that we're going to be doing tonight. It is called the Rose River Loop, which is going to take us to Rose River Falls. I've done this before. Ivan and I have done this before with the boys last summer on the 4th of July. We're going to do it again tonight. Ivan for sure is going to go for a swim. And I'll probably go in too. You ready? Let an Ivan fuel up a little bit before the hike. Oh boy. So we are on the trail right now, going down to Rose River Falls. Like I said, we did it last summer, so I kind of have an idea of this trail. I got my small bag on me, which has bear spray, knife, towel, water, things like that. There's something special about hiking in the mountains in the rain like this, absolutely beautiful. And the sound of the rain against the leaves and the trees, the sound of the birds, the smell of all the flowers blooming. <sighs> the air is just so crisp, it's, it's so perfect. Not quite the falls we're looking for, but Ivan's having fun regardless. Ivan, let's go. We're coming up on the falls right now. Wow, she is roaring today because of all the rain. I haven't come. Uh -oh. Look at that. Wow. Rose River Falls. She is beautiful, wow. loves it so much. I'm about to check the temperature of the water. <laughs> Dude, it's hot. <laughs> Interesting, so it's not really that cold. I mean, 51 degrees, don't get me wrong, that's still pretty cold, but I do cold plunges in like 32 degree water, so. This is nothing.
Go by Rose River Falls. Whew, that was a plunge. The water was 51 degrees, as you guys saw. But it wasn't really that cold to me. Because like I said, I've been doing cold plungers that are 32 degrees, so but it was nice. It was beautiful. Now I'm starting to feel the incline on the way up. <laughs> I'm gonna get dried up, cleaned up, and changed and head over to the campground which is just one mile up that road. And we got plenty of daylight left, way more than I thought we would have. I cannot see anything. Jeez. This is sketchy, man. There it is. We have made it to the site. I chose this site because you can kind of see the views in the back. It looks like a pretty good site. We've got people kind of close, which is not my favorite, but what do you expect? This is Big Meadows Campground, the biggest campground here in the park, so it's pretty much always packed like this. I got the tent set up. I'm about to make the fire. The clouds are rolling in. So we're on top of the hill here. <laughs> I got this fire disc. Got some shavings and other little chips in there. Although a lot of the stuff here is kind of wet. So might be a tough one, but Let's see. Let's see if we can keep this going. Looks like we got something going here. I'm using these chips that I found from previous wood cuttings here. They're a little wet, but they should eventually be good enough. All right, I think we're finally getting somewhere. Thank goodness. Kevin's been a good boy. So for dinner we got these New York strip steaks. One for Ivan, one for myself. Look who's exciting. <laughs> so I got some beef tallow melting in the pan. That's what I'm gonna cook the steak in. Not really a great pan, I know. Probably leaching some chemicals, but I gotta buy a new one. All right. And this is Ivan's. I'm gonna cook his first. Oh yeah, look at that. Ivan, you ready? Look who's ready for dinner. Made Ivan this steak. It's on the rare side and it's quite a bit of meat. And I put some red bell pepper. It's a lot of food, but Okay.
just cleaned it up. All right, dinner is served. Look at that strip. I haven't already ate, dude, dude. Dude, you already ate. You ate before me, man. That is a beauty. Look at that. Hmm. That was good. Look who's right here to get some of my steak. <laughs> Ivan, you already got some, dude. Whoop, well, everybody, I'm about to hit the hay. <laughs> Ivan is not the biggest fan of tent camping because I always put on the rain fly, which insulates the tent very well, so it makes it kind of warm, but I gotta keep the rain fly on. I'm not trying to get rained on. Let me show you guys the setup. I have this yoga mat, but it's one inch thick and it is fat. It is so nice. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I got my 40 degree sleeping bag. It's probably f maybe 50, low 50s right now. Got this travel Walmart pillow. And yeah, I also have Another blanket, in case I need it here. And the dog, <laughs> who kind of wants to leave, but it's not an option. Yeah, you can see he's a little on edge right now. He's not a very big fan of tent camping. We've done it before a couple of times, and each time he wasn't so great with it, but he'll settle in. He's much better at car camping because he sleeps in the car all the time anyway, so. Right now it is 11 p.m. I want to wake up 6, 7 a.m., take Ivan out, and maybe, maybe crush a hike here. Good morning. It's 7.30 a.m. Gonna pack up. Probably do a nice hike. a nice morning stroll along the Appalachian Trail which runs right along this campground which is pretty cool. See the annoying thing about Big Meadows Campground is that since it's the most popular campground in the park there's always a lot of people but this is the good part about it. All right, this is breakfast. The breakfast skillet pro pack from Mountain House. Not too bad. Gonna enjoy this. 
and hit the road. Good as always. Like the views of them. Okay, go. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to be doing a quick hike, Hawksbill Trail. You can make it a loop, but we're going to make it an out and back. Now, it's going to be 0.7 miles up, but it's 700 feet elevation gain and only 0.7 miles. So it's kind of rough, but it's nice. It's going to take you up to the highest point in the park, actually. So. point in the park. Wow. Now right down there you can see Old Rag Mountain. That's where we hiked a couple of videos ago. There she is down there. Well look at that. Never gets old. I've done this several times now but never gets old. That's going to conclude our adventures here in Shenandoah National Park. If you guys have any questions regarding any camping, hiking, anything like that, drop them in the comments below and I'd love to reply to you all. If you guys enjoy this type of video and want to see more of this and Ivan, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would truly appreciate that. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time.